I'm Wanda. Um, I've been coming to Soup Kitchen almost four years. I came to Soup Kitchen in 1999. I was a drug addict and alcoholic. And uh, I was just tired. I needed help. I was pretty independent. I worked as a home health aide for 40 years. The soup kitchen made a difference that I'm eating a balanced meal. Vegetables, fruits, juices. I came to the soup kitchen back in 06, being a retired history teacher. I am not used to people who are homeless and wasn't used to the idea of being homeless myself. The Community Soup Kitchen is open 365 days a year. We serve lunch every day. Over the course of the year, we have more than 2,000 volunteers who come through our doors who make the daily meal happen. We're here if it snows, we're here if it rains, we're here when there's floods. People know that they can come here. People know this is a safe place. We also expanded our services where we now provide mental health outreach, substance abuse outreach, English as a second language classes, nursing care, HIV testing, really a broad range of services that are available to help people deal with the issues that they're facing. I'm here to kind of help with any kind of paperwork or service referral. I've helped people get apartments, I've helped people get jobs, I've helped people get uh, baseball mitts for their kids because their kids wanted to play Little League but they couldn't afford a mitt. A lot of our guests come to the soup kitchen for the meal and that's sort of a gateway for us to be able to offer them other services. A lot of our homeless guests are mentally ill and they would never go to an organization that said, you know, mental health provider on the door. I've never been in this situation before, so it's like they made it where I felt more at you know, home because I really don't have any family left. The thing is, when you walk in this door, you might be downtrodden when you walk in this door, but when we see you and we see that you've got that lost look in your eye, we immediately turn to one of the social workers, one of the mental health workers. We have a nurse here today, and instantly that team goes into action. When you leave out of here, you've got some kind of contact to help you get back on your feet. I see miracles every day. And I see that the more we do, I see results. And that's such a that's that's such a rare thing in this world to actually be able to make a difference. If it wasn't for the people here in the soup kitchen and the people here at this church, I don't know where I'd be right now. They got me the mental help that I needed when I got back from I was in Iraq for eight months. But through them and through the mental health program, I was able to get Section 8 housing, which I just got this week. So I'll have a permanent place to live from now on. The thing that I love about coming here because I just got my kids back. So it's really, it's really been a big help. And, it, and if it wasn't for the soup kitchen, I don't think I would have the job I have now because I, that's how I got it from a piece of paper that was on the, uh, they have uh, posted up on the bulletin board. They post everything in there. And I, I just applied one day. And I was like, okay, I probably, I, I said, they probably won't call me. And like two days later, they're like, can you come in for an interview? And I'm like, wow, that's great. I have a home now. I've got a family, I'm getting married. Things are good. And if it weren't for the soup kitchen being here, I don't think I'd have that opportunity. When you give money to the community soup kitchen, you're giving it directly to an organization that is helping people right here in your community. We have a really small staff here. We have two full-time employees and just a few part-time employees. The money is not going for a fancy office. The money is not going for travel, for, for you know, equipment. It is going directly to feed hungry people. Every day our doors open and between 150 and 300 people come in and they eat and they're offered services, and they're given whatever it is that they need to get through the next day, and they're helped to move their lives forward. What if some of the services were eliminated? A lot of them be in trouble. Of course, these people is homeless, don't have nobody, 
need things, and the soup kitchen is here for them. It would be disaster. I, I, I don't even want to imagine. I don't know where people go or what they would do. or It would be a disaster. Oh, man. If it was eliminated, I don't know what a lot of people would do. It would really hurt a lot of people because of the simple fact the soup kitchens help so many people. You know what I mean? They really help so many people, and they do the best they can. You know what I mean?